I've been called out on social media. I, I don't know where it was, but I was called out and rightfully so. Somebody was saying, well, I'd like to see how this performs on 70 centimeters. And me and my infinite wisdom said, well, I never said it worked on 70 centimeters. I've made a two meter, 70 centimeter antenna out of fabric. Um, I want you all to understand that it is more important for me to produce an antenna and give you designs that actually work than it is for me to be right. I'm not going to try and defend something that does or does not work. So let's test this, shall we? Here's a little teaser. I have to eat a little bit of crow on this video. Any two meter antenna will resonate okay in the 70 centimeter band. The two meter antenna is about 1.8 SWR in about the middle of that band. And it is just acceptable. Is it something that you should use on a regular basis? No. Is this something that you would use as a dedicated 70 centimeter antenna? No. Will it work in a pinch? Absolutely yes. Just. Follow along on some testing on the two meter antenna and the new 70 centimeter version of the Farajay. This is Victor Arco 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? First test I did is I went to a place called Top Hill in Calgary, and it's one of the highest points around. And I figured I'd see who I could reach using the 2 meter antenna on 70 centimeters. Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray, uh, doing a radio check. Can anybody pick me up on 446 Simplex? Yeah, it's not looking very good now, is it? Now let's remember that 70 centimeters doesn't travel as far as 2 meters and it's better in sort of built up areas. I was quite a ways away. So I'm going to move to a park and I'm going to see if I can race somebody on simplex and if I can hit the repeater. This is Victor Arco 6 here Foxtrot X-Ray checking out my 2 meter Faraday on 70 centimeters. Do you copy? V6SFX, VE6VIR. Very clear, Ben. Uh, seems like you're just down the street from me. Uh, perfectly audible. Uh, over. Yes! I was kind of worried. The last test at the other location obviously didn't work very well. And I was starting to think that I was delusional. I wasn't. I was just too far away. It's not the longest distance, but it, it does work, right? That's kind of what I was trying to make a point of. Now let's try the new Faraday 70 centimeter and see if it works um, getting to Virat. This is Victor Arco 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray. I'm back on a different antenna. Do you copy? Very good. I couldn't make out any difference. The only thing I could pick up this time was uh, a little wind noise, which I don't believe I heard on the previous antenna over. Yeah, I copy that, so maybe a little more clarity, but that would be about it. And that would kind of make sense because the other antenna is not made for 70 centimeter. Now, there is a repeater that's a little ways away from this location. And I'm going to try to hit it with both the 2 meter and the 70 centimeter. This is Victor Echo 6 here, Fox Rod X-Ray. I'm trying to hit the 70 centimeter repeater. V6, V6, Mike Tango. You're uh, loud and clear. Do you have a moment to do one more check? I just got to swap out to my two meter and see if uh, they, uh, if it can hit the repeater as well. Yeah, okay, I'll stand by. VE6 Mike Tango, this is VE6 SFX. Do you copy? I think that would be a band V6. V6 Mike Tango, uh, not making the repeater, just sort of tripping it a little bit. Copy that, thank you. This is Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray, and that will end my test. I very much appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Okay, that transmission, I got a few words. I, I, uh, it's not usable the way it is now. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Now remember that this is a two meter antenna trying to hit a 70 centimeter repeater. Now you can see I can just reach the repeater using the two meter Faraday at a fair distance. It's a very good repeater though, so that is probably why I'm getting in, but they're having some problems hearing me. V6 
Victor Echo 6. Mike Tango, uh, Victor Echo 6 here, Fox Start X ray. Yeah, I got you on my last antenna. I could read you fine, but obviously you couldn't read me. I very, very much appreciate you doing that. I now know the limits of the antenna. Six, Mike Tango. Okay, uh, which antenna was that? It's the fabric antenna that I do make. Okay. Which antenna are you on right now? I am on the 70 centimeter version, but it is flopping around in the wind a little bit, so I suspect that it's not going to be sounding all that great. You're dropping out a little bit here. Uh, copy that. Um, just checking this now, I, I managed to tie the antenna down so that it is not flopping around. Is the signal quality better now? Yes, it, is. it didn't drop out at all. Yeah, that's, uh, you know what, I, I love science because this is one of those uh, learn as you go kind of things and a, a secondary test uh, right in the middle of things. Confirm some some uh, hypotheses. Oh, that's good. Okay, my pleasure, Ben. It's always interesting to uh, hear you trying out these antennas you're making. So, some three of these, six mic Will the two meter Faraday work on 70 centimeters? Yes, just barely. But I have a new 70 centimeter version that will work just swimmingly. So I recommend that you go and check that one out. It's not quite available yet. If you're part of my Patreon and you are a regular subscriber, you will have found that one of the posts that I have gives you all the dimensions and everything you need to make both a 70 centimeter and a GMRS version of this antenna. So there's a kind of good reason why you'd want to go and sign up to my Patreon. This is Victor Echo 6, Sierra Fox Trout X-Ray, and I will be clearing this channel.